Chuck is in love. Great, um, great song. I really like that one from Ricky Lee Jones. I think, I think it's Buzz Fighting on guitar uh, and Steve Gadd on, on on drums. Either way, the the musicians on that are, are great. It's very, uh, it's really got a nice loose kind of feel in it. Um, obviously, not an, an acoustic guitar. Um, there's a couple of guitars in um, in this piece. We're going to go through just a couple of the sections uh, in it. There's obviously the main riff, classic riff, very, very, very well known. And then we'll go through uh, the verse, um, the, the chorus, and I, I, I suppose the breakdown of the main pieces within it. But um, the interesting thing for me when we get to the verse is um, the full voicings versus what you might want to play um, in your own ensemble or in uh, when you're on your own versus what is actually on the recording. Um, and for me, I took an approach to play what some of the sort of the electric piano or keys or whatever uh, were playing uh, on, on guitar instead of in terms of a melody, a melody line. So the main riff, uh, you thinking in the key of in the key of eight in standard tuning, um, uh, just an A, 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 I mean A five, but just the first couple of notes of, of an A chord. Uh, the C to C sharp. So you're just going to kind of you're going up the, um, I suppose the A major pentatonic. Okay, and then think of a seventh chord, G and C sharp. Just a nice little slide in and out of there. Okay. Second time. Again, going up uh, more in a major scale there. B to C sharp, A to B, F sharp A. Last time. He adds that high E there. Okay, so we've got a G, C sharp, E. And just sliding it down a fret, back up. Okay. Let me play that again. Ending on the C, so the whole thing. Okay, that's the intro. A nice little piece again, you've got to get the muting going so you can kind of it sound it feels better to me to play all the strings rather than single single note um, playing with your right hand. So keep in line with that. Now when it comes into the verse, they're really vamping around an A major seven to a B minor seven. So again, diatonic chords to the key of uh, of A major. Okay, for me in an ensemble, you wouldn't necessarily play that. Um, the bass is hitting the, the B uh, off the beat and it just sounds a bit too full. So I would tend to play with a smaller voicing. So it's exactly the same as the his here. I'm just playing the top of the chord instead of the full uh, B minor with the B in the bass. Just playing the top. Okay. The rhythm here in the first verse, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, when it goes to what might be a pre-chorus, I feel the A to the B is really important on the high string. So I'm playing an A, it's an A major triad. To, uh, I suppose it's a, it's a D6, it's, it's a D chord, but that B there, it's really important in terms of that little melody hook that um, the guitar or the piano are playing. Okay, is it that? So for me, I'm just doing an A to 
to a D, that's what you, you're thinking. Um, but I'll play it an A triad to a the top of a D with that B note, which is the sixth. Cool. So D six. In terms of the little um, melodic piece they're playing on that D, hit that C sharp, and then the A on the B string, tenth fret, and off. Okay. Okay, that's basically that, that piece there. And then it's just back to the... Okay, um, the, the, the chorus for me um, is a variation on that. It's just a slightly different rhythm of playing those notes. So... put the C sharp on top there. Okay, that's basically the chorus. Now, when it goes into just before the breakdown, you've got a D major seven. Da, 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 da. C sharp minor seven, standard voicings. F sharp 13. Okay, I've got a link below to chord chart and chord voicings used. So um, don't worry as such about the specific voicings. You can check them out there if you're interested. But it's a D major seven, two bars, C sharp minor, F sharp 13. Then it goes into the... Okay, for me, I just think of this as an A triad, with an A bass, and then the bass descends down, I suppose it's A mixolydian, you're thinking G instead of G sharp. But there's some chromaticism, so let's have a look at it. A, G, F sharp, F bass, okay. Little pick up. flat, again an A on B, to a, I'm thinking E major there, so the G sharp, but it really they only play you know, the first few notes. Now while you could name these chords as uh, something more complex than they are, for me it's just very very simple to think of an A chord with a descending bass line twice and then their bass line ascends. On that B flat, I can't hear them playing any other chords, but you could do. You could just continue to reference the A. Okay, back into the verse. That's basically it, apart from one rhythmic section before it comes back into the intro riff. Okay, and you can think of it as uh, the A major seven. I'm, I'm playing the high voicing, B minor seven, to an E nine sus four. If you want to think of full voicings, two, three, four. Okay, but I again, I'm playing. Now, when he goes back to the intro riff, it's the same riff as it always was, but at the very end, they hit a C13. Now, this is the voicing. Okay, again, it's in the chord chart linked below, and then finishing on an A. Okay. Great, great piece. Great little riff, um, some interesting rhythms in there, some interesting chords, and it's nice with that melody uh, piece in the chorus 
uh, at the end as well. Uh, some interesting voicings that you might not have seen, check it out. Let me know if you like it. Um, that's it. See you next time.